Hi, I'm Sarah Cardwell, um, blogger at um, Sarah's Thinking Again dot blog, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I won't be a vlogger, so there'll not be many videos from me, but there'll be the occasional um, live Facebook feed. And I just guess I wanted to say thank you for all the support I'd had so far. I heard um, and watched Ruth in Revolt's YouTube video and. It was really good to put a face to um, a voice to her face and so I really really enjoyed that and it's inspired me to um, to just say a little hello to everybody and um, for those of you that don't know me I'm um, Sarah 35 um, I'm an executive assistant um, part-time at a charity in Sheffield I have two daughters eight and eleven two young girls who are my world um, happily married um, despite um, being diagnosed earlier this year with borderline personality disorder and generalised anxiety disorder. Um, I had a hysterectomy at 32, which kind of triggered a lot of um, the processes and a lot of the things that started to happen. Um, sadly, I lost my mum to ovarian cancer just before that, which is why they had to remove my ovaries. And as you can see from the sweat i do suffer in the early stages of menopause and have done since 32 so that brings its own challenges um and really i just wanted to say hi um this is me um borderline personality disorder is quite a difficult one to get your head around i would have loved to have done this video somewhere nicer than in the inside of my car but sadly um my husband's still in the room and i'm trying to kick him out but it's not really happening so it's just a quick sort of waffle for me saying um, why I blog and that's because it's therapy for me. Um, I'm on a two year waiting list for um, DBT because CBT um, was more unhelpful than helpful. Um, and I really suffer with anxiety, um, which is why this weekend it's such a big deal. I'm in London for the weekend. And this afternoon we're going to see Wicked, which I am so excited about and yet so nervous as well. Um, I just can't wait, really, to just prove that I can do it um, and to go and see a show. But to be in the centre of London since this diagnosis is quite a big deal. And then tonight we've got a voucher for Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. So we're going to Bread Street um, to have a lovely meal as well. Um, Borderline personality disorder is basically where you can't handle your emotions properly. So it was diagnosed initially as emotionally unstable personality disorder. And I really suffer with trust and loss and I have really intense feelings. So a lot of the stuff that I feel is the same as everybody else, but I just feel it more intensely. There's very little grey. Um, it's black or white. I either believe somebody likes me and is like my best friend or I believe that they don't like me at all and absolutely hate me and are out to get me. Um, so it's a really hard trying to balance that um, and as you can see I'm becoming quite self-conscious um, now as the anxiety starts to show itself. So it's only a quick hello and hopefully um, really excited things that coming up. This week I was first published in the Huffington Post. So excited about. Um, next week I've got a podcast with Mental Podcast in Birmingham. I have also got a blog coming out with uh, Mental Health First Aiders, which um, is a course that my work sent me on Good Things Foundation Um at the beginning of this year which was a fantastic course and um, it's not the answer to everything but it certainly helps to and it's something we're absolutely positive about bringing um, awareness into the workplace um this week the petition that we've been involved in with with um, bobby and mental podcast has had a bit of a step forward they're now going to bring in some compulsory mental health um within 2020 into all schools so i'm sure we'll be chatting a bit about that but there's still a lot of work to be done and then next Saturday, um, this is like a warm-up, because next Saturday I'm in Portsmouth for the um, Mike's Open Journal uh, Mental Health Awards. Um, and I'm up for Mental Health Blogger of the Year. Um, there's fabulous bloggers, so I'm not expecting anything from that, but just the fact that I'll be in the opportunity to meet them all, to meet the vloggers, um, influencers, um, those that 
get involved in spreading the word and um, those that do campaigns all that kind of stuff and i'm going to get to be in a room with loads of them so really looking forward to that so anyway i hope you've enjoyed um this little video and if you want to share it that'd be great and hopefully you'll like some of my blogs as well so check them out on www.sarahsthinkingagain.blog thank you